Today's a sad day. Cheek up, baby girl. It looks like Five Nights at Freddy is over, so I'm just gonna have to stuff you in this box. I got to say goodbye to all my beautiful friends. You have done me so well. Why, Scoot? Why must it have- Hold on a second. I'm <laughs> gonna get an old phone call over here. Hello, this is Daddy of Paparaz. How are you doing? What? There are more secrets for me to find? 10 out of 10 acting. You need Officer Booty Lover to crack this case wide open. And you need Orange Boy? You need them to dive so far into this game that he becomes Scott himself. Well, ladies and gentlemen, looks like I've got a new case. I'm gonna find all these secrets. Hey, 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 Ron Rasbowski here, and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's 6. Oh, baby, it's time to find out all the Five Nights at Freddy's secrets and those secret endings. Endings so secret that even the Illuminati will be coming after you. So you better watch yourself. Guys, if you're hyped for this video, then please hit that like button. It really, really is appreciated. Unless you for 2,000 beautiful likes. You already know the deal, ladies and gentlemen. If this video hits 4,000 beautiful likes, then I'll go ahead and get all of the achievements. How does that sound for your beautiful faces? And if you're feeling extra special spicy hype for today's video, then in the comment section below, type hashtag FNAF. And we'll dive straight in, baby! Woo! How could I resist a promise such as this? Oh, Freddy, you're making me blush staring at me like that down in the bottom corner. Remember, we need to keep this professional. Speaking of professional, it's time to get those secret endings. Off screen, Papa did a lot of uh, dirty and nasty things to get a lot of money. Please don't ask me what I had to do to get all that money. I never want to relive those memories. So when I go ahead and buy this final item, the pickles of God himself, then that will be 100% of all items bought. So we're going to buy that. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I now own every single item in this game. So we're going to pimp out our place a little bit. Now, as you can see, we've got all the, I don't know how you want to refer to these guys over here, but the, the random animatronics. Having each set or group of animatronics on the stage at once gives you a badge, and uh, that badge helps you for completion purposes. But for now, we must kill all of you per fake imitations. We the cheap boys. Look at all these trash can guys. Look at them all. There's a little hoover over there. <laughs> we got the paper plate pals. There we go. Trash in the gang. <laughs> so savage. That guy over there looks like he's got his member hanging out, which I don't think is entirely child appropriate. He's got no risk though. So he may be flashing, but he's no danger to the children. Uh, I'm drinking out of a unicorn, ladies and gentlemen. It's a good day to be alive. Look at Lefty. He's really getting into the swing of things over there. He's singing his favorite tunes, and everybody seems to be enjoying it. But I mean, I'm enjoying it over here. These are the best tunes. Mount the man there, Lefty. Or shall I be calling you the puppet? Sir? That's right, if you didn't already know, Lefty is actually the puppet lured back here to finally put an end to its um, reign of, I don't know, rebirth? Now, I heard this one is going to be really good for lore, so your color code is green. Do not let your assigned child... Okay, press space to stop child. How do I... Okay, okay, so I'm, I'm looking after green. How do I get out? Oh, right, I just pressed space. There's a couple of children over here just dancing away. This is, this is good. So I'm green. Oh, look at my guy. I'm just popping out to say hello there. Stop the child. Stop the green child. None of these are green. Don't don't care about those children. Only the green children. <laughs> Poking out the box. N nothing to worry about over here, ladies and gentlemen. Just the green child. Just the green child. That's all I'm worried about. Oh, okay. That was the easiest mini game I've ever had to do. Did I fail? Did I win? Man, this is the easiest job I've ever had. Wait a minute. Whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa where, where, where's the good music? Where's the Where's the good music? What? Where, where's the nice music that I was dancing to before? Oh no, there's a girl outside! Hey! Hey, there's a girl outside! G guys, guys, guys! I, I need to go out and get her, surely! What are we- was she- Oh, she's got green! Space! Space! Oh, oh, there I am! I broke free! Let's go, let's go! Let's let- Oh, no, I am actually moving! Let's go to the exit! Let's fight the girl! Hey, let me out! Where did the girl go? Wait, what? Am I- Am I actually moving- I am moving this guy. Where- Where's that girl? Is she beside the trash bags? There's some posters up there. They want it? Oh, no. Oh, no. My circuits are being destroyed. I am out in the rain. Robots aren't supposed to get wet. Oh, no. There she is. Go- Go and get her. Go and get her, buddy. Get, no, get, get up, puppet man. Get up. What are you doing? Get up and save that girl. You're the one that revives them, right? What do I do? Do I- Where the hell did my body go? What, what's happening? Am I spooning the girl? Wait, what? What the hell is going on there? The girl outside. There's a girl outside in the rain. Oh! <laughs> that there, ladies and gentlemen, is the very first person that, that, that got ripped. 
So, if the puppet there was just protecting the girls, or the, the, the children, then she possessed the puppet afterwards. And thus, the revival story was born! So that's clearly Scott's way of showing us how, um, the girl actually went ahead and inhabited the puppet, because the puppet's body was beside her, so her soul was freed, and because she wanted to still be on this planet and still be alive, then she inhabited the puppet. That's very good, I like that! Hey, I finally did it! I finally did the mini game. <laughs> that game took me so long to do! Okay, so, you guys were telling me in the comment section below that I need to go and complete that game two times, so this time it should be different from what you were saying. Oh, why are there dead Pikachus? What have the Pikachus done? And the music slowed down a lot, and she's looking a lot sadder in the background as well. Oh, poor girl. Actually, let's go over here first. Let's quickly grab the, the Pikachu speed. Oh, dear. I feel sorry for her. Why is she picking up loads of dead rats? Oh, I did it! <laughs> Oh, I was so close to not being able to do this because that was like literally my second last to last token. And now this is my last token. So I can pop in here, play test. Let's do it. Oh, there we go. And everything's all horrible and nightmarish. Oh, no. Those kittens are well and truly dead. What are they? Are they Pikachus? Are they roadkill? I don't understand what this mini game is about. But it is it, definitely. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a spring trap in the background over there. That's nasty. Oh, Jiminy Christmas, let me take this Pikachu light. I can't even take the speed. What? Do I not. Am I not allowed power ups in this game? That seems a bit unfair. That means I'm never going to be able to complete it because without the power ups, you just can't go fast enough. Can I go and get the ghost at least? Come here. Give Pappy the ghost. Okay, Pappy's got a ghost. Pappy's got a ghost. So I think north, there's usually, yes there is. Okay, let's come up here. Let's see if we can come through and just grab all this stuff as quickly as possible. Give me the ghost, thank you. Oh, so we're, at least we're getting a lot of time extended. Let's grab all this stuff. I, I, I just can't, oh no! I just, I just, oh no! I just went out of space, why? Why did I go out of space there? Oh no, I just pressed finish as well! Why did I do that? No, 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 that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Okay, we're actually going into the night. Now, to go ahead and get the ultimate secret in FNAF, we need to turn the computer off. Turn it off. Zed. Turn it back on and hold this button. Turn it on and hold this button. How do I turn back? Okay, now I can turn it back on. Hold this button here, there we go! now that I understand the depth of the depravity of this creature, this monster that I unwillingly helped to create. What? As if what he had already done wasn't enough. He found a new way to desecrate, to humiliate, to destroy. As if the suffering wasn't enough, the loss of innocence, the loss of everything to so many people. Small souls trapped in prisons of my making, now set to new purpose, mm -hmm. and used in ways I never thought imaginable. He lured them all back, back to a familiar place, back with familiar tricks. He brought them all together. Are they still aware? I hope not. It keeps me awake at night. I could make myself sleep, but not yet. Not until I undo what he has done and heal this wound. A wound first inflicted on me, but then one that I let bleed out to cause all of this. He set some kind of trap I don't know what it was, but he led them there, again. He overpowered them, again. And he robbed them of the only thing that they had, again. I don't know how those tiny breaths of life came to inhabit those machines, but they will never find rest now, not like this. I have to call them all back, all of them, together in one place. And there we go, that was, what? Hey. Congratulations, you went somewhere you weren't supposed to go, saw something you weren't supposed to see, and prevented a tidy resolution to a messy problem. Oh dear. Needless to say, you're fired. <laughs> but before you go, take this certificate of insanity. Right? We're giving it to you to ensure that no one believes you, and to ensure that we can promptly replace you without incident. There is a truck waiting for you outside. Take care. Lobotomy? You barely know me! So basically they've gone ahead and cut out my frontal lobe so I can't tell anyone what I've just seen? Because that, um, that, that, that tape there, like I was trying to point out without uh, talking over, that was Henry! That was Henry, that was basically the set up to this entire game, that tape. He was basically saying, I'm gonna lure everybody to this location, and by luring them to this location, I can then free them all by trapping them in the, 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 the basement or wherever we are. 
for the night and then burning the place to the ground. Spoilers if you haven't seen the ending, but surely if you're coming to the secret endings, you've already seen the real ending, right? Damn, I hope so. And obviously we saw all the blueprints there, which I'll probably have on the screen just now, but there was the scooper, which was from the, um, the sister location game. There was the, um, little robot thing, which I'm not sure how that works yet. I think, uh, Dorko might actually have an ex explanation of that. I will link his channel in the description below because he does go through the ending, the significance, and tying up FNAF in a nice, beautiful little Scott Bow. And we had the lefty animatronic there, which was basically the lefty was playing the marionette's music to soothe it once it was trapped inside. So the marionette, the puppet, was lured inside a lefty and then kept trapped there. So then the marionette could come back here and be um, burned as well, which is actually Henry's daughter, which is very interesting as well. So we got the lamotomy ending right there, and we got the certificate of completion, and obviously we have got all the badges of honor from having all of the animatronics. However, there's still something else I want to try. Well, Pappy kind of messed this one up the last time, so I want to come back in here and see what happens when the time isn't extended or or when I, if I don't go out of bounds, because obviously I glitched through it because she's got Springtrap behind her. Or actually, no, it won't be Springtrap, will it? It'll be um the purple guy in... Uh, we missed Afton inside the Spring Bonnie suit. I'm trying to concentrate here so I don't go through something. Although, I'm going to get the ghost again. I'm going to get the ghost again because I'm feeling kind of naughty. And I want to see if I can get uh, this as completed as possible. Because if I can complete this, then maybe I get some extra kind of bonus. So I'll get the other ghost. We'll come up here. We're not going to get too... We're not going to get too fruity over here. We're not going to get too excited. We're just going to come down here. I'm going to grab that as well. And I'm going to probably get stuck any second now. Yep, there we go. But... I've managed to grab everything. So what happens if I do complete this? I don't know. This music is abs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. No, 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 no. I can't, I can't, I can't complete this. I can't complete this. Why is there a horn in my ear? Please stop that. Please, come on, you can't do this. Come on, go. Time's up, time's up, time's up. The guy's flashing in the background. The guy's flashing in the background. The guy's flashing in the background. He's not really dead. <laughs> Who's not really dead? He is over here. No, 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 no. Basically, is that talking about the purple guy? Follow me. Where, where, where? Oh, no, this is, th this is the guy. This is, that was, um, was that, was that Spring Bonnie or Afton speaking to the girl saying he's not really dead, but who's he referring to? Oh. <gasps> The bunny rabbit. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. It sounds like that girl's dog or cat or Pikachu has been run over by a car. And what Spring Bonnie Afton is saying, by the way, your dog Pikachu's not dead. Come come to my closet. He's, he's, he's alive in there, I swear. I'm definitely not going to murder you and stuff you inside of a suit. Give me your sweet goods, Papa Bear. Come on, come on. Give me the candy, give me the candy, give me the candy, give me the candy. I'm just going to let my hands do a little bit of wandering to and fro to start with. And then I'm going to tickle him. Return to Candy Cadet again. You make me maybe sad. I will tell you a story. You make me sad. <laughs> I don't want to hear your air horns of love because you have forsaken me, Candy Man. Oh no, I press finish by accident. Oh, Candy, he stole all my money. He absolutely robbed me and now I'm in Panic City because I don't want to die. Um, do you know what? Uh, for luck, for luck, I'm going to just go down and I'm going to start the I'm gonna start the night. Why not? I mean, why not? I, I've been playing this game for a long, long time now, so I should know exactly what I'm doing, right? i just turned my computer off. I don't know what I'm doing. And now I've got an advert. <laughs> this is worse than YouTube. It's okay. It's okay. I can pull this back. I, I can pull this back. Resist a promise such as this. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. Nobody's here, buddy. Nobody's here. You don't have to do anything now, Mr. Afton. We, 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 we've been on good terms for many, many years now, Mr. Afton. If you could please just go away, that would be fantastic. There's noises everywhere. I'm getting really ready for a jump scare here. I'm gonna have to turn on the fan though. Oh, I can't do this, I can't do this. I don't know why I've jumped back into this. It was all by mistake as well. I didn't mean to press finish, but I wanna get through it because now I think we can get another ending. So I'm gonna have to just try and get through this night. Oh no. <laughs> why did I put myself through this? Ah! <laughs> Always come back. So many Christmas. <laughs> Afton, Afton, you horrible, horrible man. You have given me a heart attack. Go, 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 go. I've, I've done it. Oh, I've finally done it. That is literally three hours, 45 minutes. Three hours, 45 minutes. You right into our hands. Did you really think that this job just fell out of the sky for yes. you? Yes, I did, baby, and I hate this job. No. This was a gift for us. 
You gathered them all together in one place. Yes, I did, baby cakes. Just like he asked you to. Yes, and now it's time to rot. All of those little souls in one place. <sighs> Just for us. A gift. Now we can do what we were created to do. Burn in hell! And be complete. <laughs> I will make you proud, Daddy. Watch. Don't call me Daddy. Listen. And be full. Connection terminated. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Elizabeth. If you still even remember that name. But I'm afraid you've been misinformed. You are not here to receive a gift. Nor have you been called here by the individual you assume. Although you have indeed been called. You have all been called here. Into a labyrinth of sounds and smells, misdirection and misfortune. A labyrinth with no exit. A maze with no prize. You don't even realize that you are trapped. Your lust for blood has driven you in endless circles, chasing the cries of children in some unseen chamber, always seeming so near, yet somehow out of reach. But you will never find them. None of you will. This is where your story ends. And to you, my brave volunteer, who somehow found this job listing not intended for you. Yeah. Although there was a way out planned for you, I have a feeling that's not what you want. I have a feeling that you are right where you want to be. I am remaining as well. I am nearby. This place will not be remembered, and the memory of everything that started this can finally begin to fade away, as the agony of every tragedy should. And to you monsters trapped in the corridors, be still and give up your spirits. They don't belong to you. For most of you, I believe there is peace, and perhaps more, waiting for you after the smoke clears. Although for one of you, the darkest pit of hell has opened to swallow you whole, so don't keep the devil waiting, old friend. My daughter, if you can hear me, I knew you would return as well. It's in your nature to protect the innocent. I'm sorry that on that day, the day you were shut out and left to die, no one was there to lift you up into their arms, the way you lifted others into yours. And then, what became of you? I should have known you wouldn't be content to disappear. Not my daughter. I couldn't save you then. So let me save you now. It's time to rest, for you, and for those you have carried in your arms. This ends, for all of us, in communication. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this ending, Scotty boy. It Congratulations on completing your work week. Thank you. We apologize if your situation wasn't presented to you in a completely honest fashion when you first started, but it was important that your intentions and actions be genuine. Here at Fazbear Entertainment, we value fun, family, and food. But more importantly, we value our commitment to atoning for past mistakes and tying up loose ends. Are they the ripped kids. Thank you for your participation. There is no need for you to return to work next week as Fazbear Entertainment is no longer a corporate entity. And I've been burned alive. Please accept this certificate of completion. Goodbye for now. Bye. And thank you for taking this journey with us. Three, almost four hours journey today. That's a lot of recording. That is a lot of recording. But if this shows up like I think it's going to show up soon, it's going to be worth it. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the insanity ending. we got the completion ending. And we got the lore keeper certificate as well. Which means the lore keeper, it should. And if it doesn't, I'm going to go absolutely crazy. At the end of all the credits here, there is going to be a secret special screen for us to enjoy. And then that will be the hardest thing in the game. Done. Over with. I don't have to do this again. I can go through and do the easier easier endings because there's another two endings there's the mediocre ending and then there's the is it the lazy ending or the lazy boy ending or something like that so if you want to see them if you want to see the other endings in another video then please hit that like button i don't even know what the like goal was at the start of this video anymore because it's been so long but let's say let's see we hit four thousand beautiful likes i will do those other endings as well this has been an absolute pleasure playing these games scotty boy they're frustrating at times but you want to get the lore you want to complete them i i i want to be able to say that i have completed the final game 100 percent on the channel and it looks like oh i hear it yes we got it we finally got it we got the ending the end we got it we got it we got gabriel fritz susie jeremy 
We don't know what's behind. Oh no, it fades away too quickly. But it's there. It's this. It's, it's done. We got the secret ending. That final screen. And that fr he's so happy down in the bottom corner. But there we go. We got the final screen, and that means the world to me. That means absolutely everything to me to get that. That is part of the you are a lore keeper um, certificate. You have to get that, and then do the good ending, and then that's how you get that special V end thing at the end of the um, night, obviously. Woo! Done. I'm gonna go and edit for the rest of the night to try and get this up as soon as possible but either way guys thank you very much for joining me on this journey this video was probably only about 15 minutes long but trust me when I've been here for almost 4 hours but it's all worth it baby I've been Razbowski you've been the beautiful Razbowski as always for watching and I love each and every single one of you goodbye